give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Greetings, 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 free people. Greetings, free people. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitled them a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the cause which impels them to the separation. We, the people of the Awak Indian nation in America, and on behalf of all free people, of this earth hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator the creator of nature with certain unalienable rights that amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the form of owning property. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right and duty of the governed with the people to alter or abolish that government and to institute a new government, laying its foundation in such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. So this is uh, the preamble from the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America, 4th of July, 1776, what I'm calling a declaration of independence. So we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and are endowed with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So when them said government were instituted among man, it mean the man them create a body politic called the government and grant them a little bit of the authority from themselves, from the people. The collective they secure the people's basic fundamental rights, which is the right to life, the right to liberty, being free, the right to happiness, owning your property, owning your house, owning your little farm, owning your little barn, owning your bicycle, owning your property. Yeah, not right of use of your property. Ownership of property. Come on. So it's just step by step. People. Step by step. 
advice. This is just another philosophical reasoning. Where we have to ask a few questions. And the questions what we need for ask is, am I your property? Am I your slave? It's our duty to exercise our right to be free. And for me personally, I don't think anyone going to say, here, here is your freedom. Have a good day. You have to demand this thing. You have to literally take this thing. You have to actually... Uh, Carry and conduct yourself as such a free man. Where the moment you know break no laws, then you no need for acts, nobody no permission to act. Equality under the law is just that. So if the law says we are all equal, or if even it's self evident that all men are created equal, then By what authority does the next man have any kind of right to dictate terms and conditions to another without his consent? In any and everything, consent is required. Yeah, man, you can't arbitrarily pick with consent, presume or assume that we have consented. When we have declared ourselves expressly in written form and in verbal form and in video forms in all different capacity. So this is who we are, our work Indian nation in America. This is our society. And we are free people, sovereign in our capacity. Sovereign in our capacity. Free people. Irrespective of what is being imposed upon us. I had a discussion in my group chat. I work in the nation in America. WhatsApp group chat, which is one of the most unique group chat here. And I think we have been doing it for a, a while now. So we're probably in the first set of batch we start this kind of group communication. Yeah, man. However, we see where it is being discussed here on the island of Jamaica. Where Prime Minister Andrew Holiness, they say, is invited to the Privy Council and the common folk and get excited talking a lot of common stuff. And I was curious to know who and what is this Privy Council and where does, does it get its authority? You know what I mean? Because if Her Majesty's Parliament have no authority over this place, and it says so in its documentation, Independence Act of 1962, where is Maj Her Majesty's government says she have no responsibility for the government of Jamaica. Now, if that's the case, Who and what is this Privy Council? You know what I mean? And for me personally, it's all colonial 
corporate construct. This is why I do not accept no foreign crown or no foreign queen to govern over I. I rebut that. I dismiss that. Everyone can choose, and if people choose to have a foreign queen, assuming governance over them, that is fine. That's their choice. But there have to be recourse for people like I, who choose not to delegate or subject myself to no foreign power. Absolutely none. We are not anti anything at all. Again, all men are created equal. And the same parliament has power. Ask yourself where does parliament get its power? And what is parliament? Isn't it man and woman sitting within a body politic or some kind of council or some kind of group making decisions on behalf of the majority of the people without their consent most of the time? Because the only way the government of Jamaica here can declare they have consent from the people is through the voters' registrative system, the electoral ballot system where people get a voter's registration card and to get that you have to be physically interviewed by whatever agent it is who will come to your location which what i'm calling address to verify that that is your location you know what i mean and you have to submit and make an application for that and when that is expired or you renounce and renege that offer, that contract, then it's over. So for the government to continue using that instrument when it's expired or without your consent or without your authority of delegation, then it's called fraud. Yeah, man, it's called fraud. And not because you're a government agent means you do not commit fraud. Yeah, man. If it's you doing your job, that's fine. It is fraud. We have to hold our public servants accountable. So we're on the island, the criminality is rampant, which is no surprise. But as I have said already, when a foreign power, foreign interests take occupation or occupy. anyone's land then the interest of the people is no longer on the table now it's all for profit so the people become product and classified on multiple levels of slaves yeah man they call it Employer, master, employee, servant. It's no different. Nothing wrong when by the sweat of our brow we shall earn it. There's nothing wrong when we go out there and work hard. The problem is when we are not being compensated for, for our sweat equity. The problem is when you work and you work one hundred dollar what a sweat equity according to their calculation. And when them supposed to give you that one hundred dollar, then someone, some imaginary entity come along and take 
50% or 20% or 30% of that $100 and say so that's for taxes. The next entity come and say so that's for, what them call it, insurance, house insurance. And next one come for medical. By the time you, you walk home, that same $100 turn to like, probably like $36. But you still have to put aside something for rent, something for food, and something for any emergency for your family. This is why you see these huge foreign companies come here with their call centers where they hire our young people for like six months. Nothing permanent. And whatever it is they are paying, it's still inadequate. People just like to dress up to say they're going to work trying to do something. But when time for pay, money with them are made, it's inadequate. And they don't have a contract, a steady contract to say they have a career. Or officials or public servants doesn't put long-term programs in place where people can actually have a career. But these foreign construct promoters, jobs, yeah man, we work in our little place for 10, 20 years. But when time failed, move on to something else or you retire. You know, really get not much, probably a, a little cake. When you are wait upon the government, you know, that's a insurance, the security where you pay a little bit of your sweat equity all those years, you find, say, boy, that too is inadequate. So we have to keep asking ourselves this question. Where did the wealth of our ancestors go? Where did the wealth of our ancestors go? We don't have it. We don't see. We don't have access to it. It's as if we were born to be slaves. And you better dare not ask this kind of question. They lock you up and say that you're insane. The whole earth is out of course. But now it is obvious that the servants have you served the place of the masters and have now become the masters. So the public servants who are supposed to be public servants are behaving and conducting themselves as if they are the masters. The public trustee who is supposed to manage or administrate a public trust on behalf of its beneficiaries as now find themselves in breach of their fiduciary duties because people that might assume and presume to be slave are now rebutting that claim. Come yeah, on, we have rebut that claim. The slave is in your titles, public servant, public sub trustees. That's who you guys are. You don't want to be called that. You want to be called Commander-in-Chief. You want to be called CEOs. You want to be called Masters. And that is fine. But all are equal under the law. If you take a public oath to uphold the laws 
and the treat is Madeira, which is the supreme law of the land. Do no harm. Then there's a free choice of you guys, public servant. There is no way to correct corruption that is evident within our society when the perpetrators of such corruption is all the way at the top of the food chain. The very body politic that is supposed to be protecting and securing the people's interests have now transformed themselves into a office of profit and a detriment to the people's interests. For the public servants, I think now they are saying it's all about the money. Show me a broke politician and I'll show you probably an honest man. Show me a broke politician and I'll show you a honest man. And when I say broke, man, I mean a mafia walk and a beg. And now I get into politics walking and begging. But we can safely say that kind of politician now go really keep the mass among for himself or just get to him friendly. That kind of politician, they are going to make sure, say, if I have a constituency I am deal with, I am try to cover everybody. In a film constituency, you know, go have the bag of criminality. So I am going to make sure I secure everybody, get everybody from one page. I am going to use the money to educate the people. Uh, that politician is going to know if the people become smart enough, wise enough, bright enough, then they are going to make those kind of decisions. But again, man try to take care of themselves first, then them take care of them friends, then them think about anybody else. So the same thing when man go in a politics, a man say, watch ya, I want a hundred million dollars for myself first. And then he want another hundred million dollar for him big house. And then now he want another hundred million dollar for him friend. Then he no want to live alone and party alone. While the people shall suffer. Our problem has always been foreigners invading our space, our area. And if you look on the island right now, I like to say out of many one people, and I always I try to correct that statement and say before all of these many different people, we were one people here. We were one people here. And all kind of foreigner came here and, you know, inject themselves into our world. Yeah, man, and change our world. change our hemisphere. Now they want us rem to remove us from our place, this which is our point of origin, and take us all the way somewhere where we have never been. All are equal under the law. No man has no right to interfere with a next man's liberty without being held accountable for such actions. And if you can interfere with a next man's liberty without any repercussion, then you are opening the door. any common man see her 
can interfere with you and your property. No repercussion because all are equal under the law. So why you think you can do it and get away with it? And the next man cannot do it and get away with it. All are equal under the law. We have good people and we have bad people. And we have good people who do bad things and we have bad people who do good things. Whatever you choose to nurture, that is what will grow. And here on the island, they have been nurturing this colonial oppression for such a long time where they're trying to perfect it now, where they have the audacity to implement some kind of policy, some kind of act that they are guising as law and trying to dictate your life, tell you when to go out, when to go in, when you are not a criminal. When they have no authority or jurisdiction. Now for the criminal, I do can talk on the criminal's behalf. I'll tell you that much. For so the moment you choose to go out there and bring hurt and harm to other man and woman, irrespective of the cause, then you have to be held accountable for that. That's criminality, that's the crime. When you destroy someone's property, when you hurt or harm someone, injure someone, you know what I mean? Defraud someone, you know what I mean? And that man or woman can bring a claim to say, yeah, this is what you've done. You know what I mean? Now, when all of them things they are, you're supposed to can, you know, make restitution. You know what I mean? You pay three times the value of where you destroy it. But the system have a different kind of plan. The system say, all right, if you are the victim, you still not get the money. We, the system, go and get the money. We, the system, go and determine how and where and why and if anything should come out of this case. This is why we have to correct some things and get away from the corruption. If I'm wrong, no problem. I stand corrected. Let me make me apology, correct myself. I've learned some things and I move forward. This is what life is. This is a journey. Oh, I've made some kind of error, some mistake somewhere. Oh man, I had no idea. Thank you for pointing it out to me. Man, that hurts. However, let me see how I can make amends, make some corrections so I can move forward. The immediate gratification for some of us has be become an obstacle for us. And it kind of shows the character some of us, uh, most people, in their minds start in something, but a very few people are visionaries, where at least irrespective of what it is, they are staying the course, they finish what they are starting. A lot of our people, if there is no fun fear, then we not show no interest. Usually the fun fear is always around the things them that is not as beneficial to the people as it should be or ought to be. Because I've already said when we look out there in the world and I say what's going on and I try learn and I try ascertain and I try comprehend and I try to figure out how to move forward or navigate yourself through this thing. And when you try to see where you can learn from and who you can learn from and what you can learn, then you find yourself in an ocean without a compass or without any direction. 
because everybody has them thing, and everybody have a different view and ideas of what this is or what that is. Everybody views different. Everybody has do something different. But I think everybody has try to get to a place where them can say, listen, right now I'm kind of secure, I don't have to worry too much about Every day problems, every day burdens that you work. You know what I mean? But I may have to get up and may have forgot to work and to get up and go to work is like it's a burden and it shouldn't be. It should be boy I can't wait for tomorrow to come forget to work for finish this project. Uh, we are do probably something where we find purpose in and because we find purpose in our whatever it is we are doing we develop a passion for it and that passion now becomes the motivating force that drives you forward so when you rise you can't wait to leave the place and get to work and when they day at work, them have to pull you out of the work. It's only true we have to go and go take care of the family settings. That's when you leave the work. But our workforce and work environment and the structure that way. Uh, number one, if when you work and when you get paid, it's not sufficient, you can kick back and smile. Then you're gonna suffer. And probably when you look at it on the employer's side, they must say, We can't pay them too much, guys. If we give them too much for this week, then they're not come back at work till all a month or two or three from now. You can't view things that way, because that is only a presumption. If it was up to me and I have the power to say, boy, we are dictate governance. The work day would be only six hours. There's no way me and my man work now, eight and a twelve and a ten hour shift. Six hours at the most of work. No need for work more than that a day. You know, any business. When you come on to private sector. Yeah, man. People, if you have time to go and go do something else, if you have your children, if you have your farm, you know what I mean? Now, if you work only six hours for the day in a one job, then there is room for another job in the same day there, for another six hours. So you have two jobs where you do 12 hours for the day and you get compensated like, you know, a CEO. We compromise too much because we make foreign people put value on us. What is the minimum wage in America compared to the minimum wage on the island of Jamaica? We need to start asking questions. Yeah, man. I don't think anything is wrong with us asking these questions. Why are the people in a condition of poverty? Why there is no hope? Don't tell me, hey, because them uneducated, because them now have no college degree. There are people with college degree, educated people, still have the same complaint, the same cry, uh, irrespective of the things that them have. You know what I mean? They have to pay a whole bunch of different, different taxes to maintain themselves the same way. 
So this is why corruption stay rampant because down to the good man we would be or seem incorruptible. Every now and again him have to say, all right, I'm going to look the next way there. Because I have the lawn, what do call it? The lawn man for pay. I have the carpenter for pay. I have the farmer then for pay. But the business slow. We have a way to minimize the effect of corruption. So we call it hustle. Oh, it's just a hustle, no, 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 nothing too great. It's just a hustle. But them things let us breed more problems for us. Uh, a good man would normally be good now. I'm spoiled. Well, earth is out of course, and the earth has changed. So the world take over the earth. Uh, right now, everybody concerned is on the effect of things. Nobody will pay attention to the cause. What is the cause of all these things? Why do we have to live in an environment where a system can impose a pandemic across the earth and subject Come on for the vaccination and vaccine which are introduced foreign substance within their system. And multiple numerous reports are out there saying these vaccines cause all different kind of problems. However, governmental agencies and agents are still promoting this kind of destruction. Again, when in the course of human event it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's creator entitle them. A decent respect to the opinion of mankind requires that all should declare the cause which impel them to the separation. So the cause is this. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, unalienable rights. You can't put a lien on the duty to exercise the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the form of owning your property, owning your house, owning your car, Owning your bicycle. You get me? Where you now for register if you not choose to register. Owning your bond. You know what I mean? You know for paying a tax if you not choose. All these things are foreign construct. Foreigners introduce these burden and hardship upon the people. Common people. But the foreign people, they don't pay taxes. Foreign people claim ownership of everything and tell us that they put everything in their public trust for their benefit with my name attached to it. I claim my title, Linton and Neil Dallas, that's my title. I claim it. And I have a, and I have a registered 
a birth registration form. That's a registered security instrument for iClave. So irrespective of who I try to administer it, it have to be administered in my behalf and as the beneficiary. Now I mean title owner. And how can I not be benefiting from my own property? Because it's mine. There's no corporation that can make no claim here. None. And no agent can represent no corporation, no fiction. No fiction. No fiction. For a corporation is a fiction. It's not a man like you and I. It's a man. No fiction can own absolutely nothing at all. That's my view. I rebut the claim that a fiction like the government of Jamaica or Her Majesty's Parliament or the British Crown own absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. I rebut those claims. And we do it lawfully, legally. Amen. So to God be the glory. Not man. Not I. Amen. God be the glory. Amen. God be the glory. Step by step, people. Many shall be called, but chosen shall be few. Many shall be called, but chosen shall be few. Give thanks. Give thanks. Do not trespass. Come on, do not trespass. Any man or woman doing business or acting for any government agency, notice of liabilities henceforth given. Any man or woman attempting without authority to administrate our property. I demand that you present the physical wet ink evidence of the following. Provide or produce the obligation or contract upon which you rely to jurisdiction to enter, access, property, or trespass occurs. Produce the obligation or contract that exists between the man and the service corporation you work for or trespass occurs. Produce or provide the verified claim of trespass that I, as man, has caused damage or harm to another man or woman and or their property or trespass occurs. Produce the name of the man or woman from said corp service corporation, government of the maker or Her Majesty's Parliament, that claim this man as their property and assume in full commercial liability. Otherwise, do not trespass, people. I guess what we are doing here is a little bit strange, a little bit unique. Never been done before. However, there's a first in everything, and this is where we light. The fuse, the sparks, and the fire starts, and it's burning. This fire is true. And the truth is that the most I creator create all man equal and give all man dominion over all things. A thing is different from the man. And as such, man have a right to live freely. I mean, and own whatever external earthly property he claims within his rights. 
like a shirt, like your shoes. I now go look for the next man in a theme shirt and clean up and say, my shirt, I see a next man's shoes and clean. unless it's a theft. Unless me a trespass upon that man's property, which is a theft, that is a crime. By going to a bush and see some land and claim some land and chop out that and work out that and take a year, two, three years for develop that little property there. You know, can a government agent or agency come and impose any kind of taxes on me? Where you get that authority? Crown land? There is no such thing as crown land. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I can say there is no such thing as crown land. Where did you get that authority? Who gave you that authority? How can I talk about a queen of a government and the queen doesn't even look like me? That queen is totally foreign to me. And when you look up the etymology of the word queen, then, then that is even a turn off. I go right back to Hallet tree. So when I want no queen, you get me? And when you talk about the crown, I have the crown, just like all the sovereign people have their crown. Yeah, man. All men are kings. All men. When them say all men are created equal, it means all men are king. And all men have a 12 mile radius as their jurisdiction. All men have it. You have to just claim it. You have to just invoke it. You have to just declare it. I move with a court of marshals. 12 miles jurisdiction is mine. So even when them say them are violate, them are violate that. And as time go by, we're going to improve ourselves. That's it. We have some younger generation who seem like them wild, but there's also a next side to that generation when a wild, when a bad, and when a silly. Then I'm going to come carry this torch to our next level. Uh, we are just the sparks. We are just the pioneers here doing something new. So when this thing we knew what we are doing, which is declaring ourselves free, become mainstream, then change will be subtle or the change will be natural. But again, responsibility are one of the highest, it has a discipline, but we have to exercise. We are not here to interfere with the interstate commerce. We are not here to interfere with no kind of, it has a government construct. What we want to know is who shall be held accountable for the misconduct of these government agents? Who shall be held accountable? man or the woman who has committed that act by their commission by their omission this is how they shall be judged not a fiction not Regina that doesn't exist not an imaginary crown people need for open their eyes and wise up and look with their mind their yeah, mind We have to wise up. However, the time is now, step by step. Step by step. Give thanks and praise to the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature. To guide our thoughts and our path in all ways that are lawful, correct and positive for well, that was a give thanks and praise it's a give thanks and praise give thanks and praise mustard seed movement 
filosophical reasoning gives us. 